David, you're in, in charge of oil and gas uh, in the Northwest Territories, is yes. that right? Yes, yes. That's a big job. It is a big job, we've got lots of it. Mm -hmm. But you're also, and here at this conference, you're the, the president of Penwar. Yes. Okay, very good. So I, I guess the, the big question then is, is oil and gas is a very controversial issue in the United States. Is it controversial in the Northwest Territories too? Well, it, it's, uh, it's a resource that we've tried to get to market uh, for well over 40 years. We've got uh, a conventional uh, gas field in the Mackenzie Delta. Uh, we've had approval for a Mackenzie gas uh, project uh, a number of years ago. It's currently on the shelf. Uh, the proponents uh, have left it there. There's opportunities in British Columbia, perhaps, with LNG to get that, uh, that gas to market. And we have a tremendous resource of uh, oil, both in the central Mackenzie Valley and in the offshore. Uh, over $2 billion in work commitments by companies uh, looking to do work in the Canadian Beaufort. So it's, uh, it's really something we've, uh, you know, we've got and we've, we've got to try to find a way to get that resource to market. So we share uh, some similarities with uh, Alaska and Alberta when it comes to resources we're trying to get to market. And uh, we're moving forward with a, a standalone oil and gas strategy uh, to help us uh, set the stage for the future. If the people who are the environmentalists out there, they hear oil and gas and they're immediately, you know, they're, they're feathers are ruffled. Yeah, well, and everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Um, at the end of the day, uh, as a government, uh, we have to balance uh, protection of the environment with uh, having an economy so that when we have uh, our young people graduate from high school, college, or university, they have jobs to, they have jobs to come back home to. And, and for us, that's important, and it's important that we strike that balance. And uh, so for us, with the resource base that we have, it's going to include some, some development of oil and gas, to be certain. Uh, a big part of this conference is innovation. Yes. Is there innovation in uh, the oil and gas industry in, in such a way that it protects the environment? Well, and that's, that's, a, that's a good point. Uh, when you, you look at the, uh, the offshore, um, one of the issues there for, uh, for proponents to get back to drilling there was uh, same season relief wells. So uh, companies have had to go back out. The National Energy Board in Canada has left the door slightly ajar with uh, whether or not uh, companies can uh, come up with an equivalency. So there's a lot of innovation happening today uh, by companies wanting to, to get back out in the Beaufort and drill for oil um, that is going to meet that requirement. So that's, that's a, a, good, a good case. Um, and also, uh, you know, as technology advances, there's lots of innovation on, um, you know, uses of uh, fluids for hydraulic fracturing, um, you know, and uh, we're, we're, we're hoping to see that technology continue to advance and companies to be innovative on how they can uh, you know, do that uh, hydraulic fracturing the best that they can um, with a, a minimal impact to the environment. There are other innovations in other industries here in the, in the Pacific Northwest. What are some of the ones that are going to be covered here at the conference? Um, well, there's a, there's a number of things that are going to be covered at the, uh, at the conference. Um, we've, uh, we've got uh, Converge uh, Seattle. Uh, foremost experts uh, in the Pacific Northwest uh, when it comes to innovation and a number of uh, companies that are, are, you know, have had success in looking at uh, how they innovate uh, uh, their businesses to, uh, to be better, to be more efficient. And uh, for us, uh, being here, uh, we're, we're learning a, a great deal about uh, how companies have done that and uh, how leaders uh, have done that. So really for most people here at the conference, uh, it will be uh, what we learn um, and what we can take back. And of course, uh, Penwar isn't just uh, legislators, isn't just politicians, it's uh, business leaders and we've got some business leaders with us from the Northwest Territories as well. Um, on the banking side, I know this morning we heard from uh, Beneficial Bank, State Bank here in Washington State. I mean, they're, they're doing a lot of great things, things that, uh, you know, we could be innovative back home and, uh, and take some of those things away with us and, and do things better ourselves. Aside from banking, financial services and aside from oil and gas, um, what do you think is the primary asset, if, if you will, from an innovation side here in the Pacific Northwest as it faces globally? As it faces globally, I, I think is, uh, it's going to be to continue um, to find a way to get product to market, I think is, is going to be uh, a key to everything. Um, with Alaska having uh, the, the gas reserves they have, Alberta having difficulty getting their oil to uh, tidewater, us in the Northwest Territories with this tremendous amount of uh, oil and gas trying to get that to market, um, trying to find innovation and a way to work uh, together collaboratively to see those resources get to market. So we have to continue the dialogue, we have to try to find a way to work together and be innovative 
Um, and Penwar really is a, a vehicle where you know you can build relationships, you can build partnerships, you can find a way to uh, to work together. And it's been very beneficial for our jurisdiction because we're small in, in population, 43,000 people, to uh, you know to meet with uh, state legislators from Alaska, uh, our friends in the Yukon or Alberta, and talk about the what ifs. Talk about the Arctic Gateway. Um, you know, can we move oil north? You know, we believe we can. We've always thought we could have a corridor for uh, transportation, communications, and energy down the Mackenzie Valley in the Northwest Territories, and that's something we uh, we like to talk about. We like to talk about opportunities, and when you talk about opportunities, you have to talk about innovation and and trying to find a way to get things done. As we speak here today, the uh, Keystone Pipeline legislation in mm -hmm. the U.S. Congress uh, has failed, at least for now. Yeah. Uh, does that hurt you, help you, impact you at all? Well, our, our, our belief is, uh, you know, the continent needs Keystone. It, uh, chances are, undoubtedly, will get approved in the new year. Um, for us, uh, that's good. I mean, we, we need to uh, see that product moved uh, from Western Canada. And uh, what's good for, uh, for Western Canada will eventually be good for the United States, good for the region. And for us, um, you know, getting a, a pipeline project approved anywhere is, uh, you know, is a step in the right direction for us because of our tremendous resource base and, and the fact that we need uh, pipelines as well. Let's look ahead five years and what kind of innovation, uh, what, just what do you see from an economic standpoint for the region going forward? Uh, well, we, we have to continue to work together. Um, for Penware, I mean, we have to, uh, even when it comes to our communications, I think, as an organization, we have to be more innovative. We have to try to find a way to reach out to uh, the media and let them know what we're doing. And I think uh, this is this is a great opportunity even today to do that. But uh, I think uh, one good thing we could be looking at is bringing journalists uh, together uh, for a bit of a summit, so we can uh, we can spell out exactly what Penware has done in the past, what we're working on. And I think there's a lot of good news there for uh, for the Pacific Northwest when people can see the the work that Penware does. It's the largest public-private partnership in North America today, and uh, it's something uh, you know we, we, we have to you know stand up on a soapbox anytime we get a chance and and say how great it is and, and what a good organization it is, and how it is that we are trying to find a way to be innovative, to work together, to uh, accomplish some big things for this uh, region. David Ramsey, thank you. Very All right, much. thanks very much. Thank you.